the so head coach, Autumn Automaker, and Coach, uh, before you go down here to New Orleans to play two games this weekend, Titans are coming off uh, two tough games, and what was the biggest thing you saw out of the losses to Bowling Green and to Michigan State? Uh, the biggest thing, gosh, I, I just, uh, I was surprised. To be honest, I was really surprised. I thought that uh, we tried to do too much and cut, uh, came out of who we were at Michigan State. I, I thought that uh, we got out of what we do, and all of a sudden it just became, uh, we were with them first half and uh, beginning of the first half through the middle of the first half, and we just, all of a sudden it just came apart. Wheels came off, and we, we turned into um, one pass shot. We turned into not getting back on defense. So once that starts going against such a great team like Michigan State, um, they can start putting numbers up in a hurry, and by the time we knew it, it was pretty much out of reach. Uh, Bowling Green was, was another instance of we didn't handle their personnel very well. Uh, we weren't able to uh, defensively stop what they do man-to-man-wise. They are a well-oiled machine. They are a top mid-major school for a reason. Uh, they are senior-loaded, and we just didn't handle certain things very well. Uh, same thing, it hit a point where we, we were down 20 and a half, and... Uh, we're able to fight back and claw back a little bit second half, but just not enough. So I, I think that we're just really reevaluating using this time to, uh, to practice. We haven't been able to practice in a long time because we've been on a schedule of game, day off, prep, game, day off, prep. Uh, that's just how it was set up. So it's been nice to be actually be in the gym uh, for a couple of hours, being able to work on the things that we need to work on. And Coach, one of the things about those two games was, uh, you know, sophomore Yar Shyock. She's really stepping up. She's averaging 13 points the last four games. And one of the things about Bowling Green, and they are one of the top mid-major teams, and you guys did outscore them down low. So she's a big uh, force when it comes to scoring down low, and her and Jaleesa driving to the middle, so we're able to put some uh, some stuff together down low. You know, and that's been a little bit of our emphasis. I, I mean, clearly, percentage-wise, it, it, it's a much greater percentage that it's going to go in the basket or around the basket. Uh, outside of fall away jump shots, uh, I can handle confident coming off ball screens, pull ups, uh, but what I can't handle is maybe the shot clock running down and us just throwing up a prayer. So uh, there has been a little bit of an emphasis of going inside and working to really get in that lane and to score. And when that happens, as Jalisa found out, she was able to get to the basket, and, and when the defense helped up, then she was able to pass to people. So I think it, Bowling Green was a, a great game for Jaleesa, uh, a real wake-up call for her, and I'm hoping that we can put the things that we've done in the past few days together and string us two games on the road. Coach, now you have two games on the road in New Orleans this weekend, and before we talk about Tulane and St. Joseph's, you know, just you know, talk about do you and the coaching staff have to put an emphasis on just letting the team know, I'm like, yeah, we're going to New Orleans, but you know, this is a business trip and it's not, you know, not for pleasure? You know what, I, I just, it's a trip, it's, um, we go on the road in the conference and outside of, I can't even think of a time right now in our itinerary that it's not basketball. Mm -hmm. um, it's just, uh, we don't look at that scenario at all, it's just playing two very quality opponents and, and just trying to get those two wins. So I, I, don't, I don't even take into consideration that it is uh, a New Orleans, uh, but at least it'll be hopefully warmer on the way from the bus to the gym. <laughs> Uh, Coach, talk about the team you'll start off the tournament with on Saturday, St. Joseph's. They started out the year uh, with three straight wins like Detroit. They dropped their last two. So what have you seen on tape from St. Joseph's? You know, I, they are a very good team. They are a very good team. Uh, they have good guard play, good post play. They also have a, a very nice wing player. They, they play a lot of people. So I, I think it'll be really interesting. I like when we do play teams that we don't know and they don't know us, so therefore they're not as well schooled uh, scouting-wise. No matter how much you watch them on tape, you still don't have a feel for them until you play them. Uh, but I, I think it's a, they are a very good team. They're very well coached, and uh, it will definitely be a challenge for us. So, and now they're a home uh, Tulane team hosting the tournament. I mean, Tulane's five and one. They have uh, uh, they have wins over two SEC schools already: Mississippi State and LSU. And you know they won Conference USA last year, so they're going to be a pretty tough force to reckon with on Sunday. 
Oh, absolutely. We're, we're just taking one game at a time, as I, as I like to tell you. Um, I, I do, I'm well aware of Tulane being a very strong team, uh, but we are certainly looking forward to uh, the first game and, and hoping to take care of business. And then we'll deal with the green wave 